Hello everyone. So, now we are going to work with a new file called planets.txt and it has like a couple planets on there. And we're going to discover some more things we can do. So, we're going to use that with operator and we're going to open the planets file, planets.txt file. And we're going to set that as the variable um, planets file makes sense put the colon then um, something we can do is uh, print out like if we notice the original file it's separated by line so we can use something called the uh, print lines uh, method to well, let's let's see what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna say planets is equal to the planets file dot read lines. Now what happens? Uh, well, we actually have to print that out. So print out. Now we're gonna print out planets. So I have the planets variable set equal to the file dot read lines. Let's see what happens. It prints out Mercury with the slash N for a new line, then Venus, Earth, and then Mars, but Mars does not have the slash line. Very interesting. Okay. Well, what's going on? So now we have Mercury, then a new line. So it prints out that space new line. But as soon as it hits that new line, it, like look at this, this is a list it's making. So when it hits the new line, it make it goes to, it makes another item on the list. So then Venus with the, with the new line character is in there. It goes all the way to Mars, but since it ends at Mars, then there's no new line. But if I were to put a space there, let's run it now. Now it has the new line uh, character there. So here's a way we can sort of itemize things in our file. But, but um, and then we can do some other stuff with that. So there is a built-in function that we can use to reverse the order of uh, what's going on. Um, also, something we can do is if I say planets dot strip the dot strip method and I run it, uh, it gives me an error. Why? Hmm. Hmm. Embarrassing. All right. Let's just let's just move on. Uh, for I'm gonna say uh, for planet. We're making a new variable planet in and we're going to use the reversed method reversed and then we're going to reverse the value of planets so reverse that list that we had just printed out i'm going to print out the planet now it should work dot strip okay so now i've been but let's put a new line. Well, still like that. So now what's going on is we have that original planets list that has that forward slash n. But now what we can do is use this um, this for loop to print out this list in reverse order. And this dot strip method. What does the dot uh, strip method do? Well, it it basically removes um, the uh, they call it the leading and the trailing characters with each of these strings. So, for instance, um, like let's take the it's printing in reverse order. So it's for Mars. Earth, Venus, Mercury. Let's go to this one, this one, this one, this one. And 
what it does is it's go it's removing that um, the new string part of each item in the list so that's why it's just printing out the words themselves without the new line character in them so that is some other things we can do with this uh, searching through these files uh, next video we'll just continue on with some more methods